What's up, guys? So last night we had the latest edition of our JM Cup tournament series. In case you don't know, once a month on my Discord, uh, we pick a game, we change games every month, and we have a little tournament for it. And the idea is, you know, we're kind of trying to give people a place where they can practice and get better against people of their own skill. Most of these people are picking up a game from scratch every time. Uh, and I definitely know it's a challenge in fighting games a lot of times to be able to find other people at your level when you're first starting out. So hopefully we're able to provide that to people. And this month we played Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, one of my favorite Street Fighter games. And it was an absolute blast, so I'm going to be showing you what I think were some of the coolest and most exciting matches of the night. And I hope that you enjoy, so be sure to hit that like button if you would like to see more old games and more Third Strike and stuff like that. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching, guys. Alright, Akuma versus Aura. I, I have heard the tale. Allegedly... Multiple people in our Discord have struggled against the Turtle Oro of Microwave Mayo. We'll have to see if that can come to fruition here. Throws Jeff into the corner. Now, important to note, Akuma, a very strong offensive character, but a very small life bar and a small stun bar. So Oro is not going to have to land that many hits. Oro, you know, a pretty decent poking character with some very awkward movement, and he can have some explosive combos. Uh, ooh, the Kara throw misses just out of range. Car Kara throw? And there's the DP from Aura. More like a flash kick, really, if you think about it, but... Alright, stray hits landing on both sides, but once again, each stray hit is going to help Aura a little bit more. Because Akuma has that short life bar. Ooh, the jump forward roundhouse air to air. The air to airs from Mayo are looking really good. I mean, Oro players, they tend to stay airborne uh, for a lot of the round because, you know, his walk speed is really slow. Wow, nice frame traps <laughs> with the uh, raw super there. Caught him pressing a button after the block Tatsu. Jeff going on the offensive. Microwave Mayo, he's going to have to figure out a way to bring this back. His usual turtling style is not going to help to close the gap. There we go. Both players taking a round in this first game. All right, there's the uh, the chicken stomp. <laughs> Gets blocked. It can be kind of tricky against Oro. You know, if he if he jumps, he might do empty jump low, or he might do a, a super late chicken stomp. Great parry on the universal overhead, and a nice punish, and a nice cross up. Akuma offense from Jeff looking very strong here. Alright, throwing fireballs. Red fireball coming in hot. Nice thing about red fireball, even if it gets paired, you still have a lot of frame advantage. So it's, you know, Akuma and his air fireball kind of the same principle. Akuma fireball still strong, even in a game like this where parry makes most zoning unviable. Microwave Mayo once again, a slight life disadvantage, but he catches the jump. Uh-oh, the Turtle Oro could be awakening. Here's the throw. Now he's got to figure out what to do on this wake up. Here he goes for another throw. Microwave Mayo clutches it out. I mean, the patience from Jeff there. He didn't throw out a DP into Super or anything like that, but he got thrown. Have to see if Jeff can make an adjustment. It seemed like his offense was good, but it's just forcing Oro to play your game. If Oro is hopping around throwing fireballs, Stepping on you like a turkey. It can be hard to get a normal offense started because of his untraditional neutral play that's being applied by Microwave Mayo here. Makes sense if you guys will recall, Microwave Mayo played Anacharis in our last tournament. Another very awkward, floaty, stays in the air type character. And we're seeing a lot of the same strategies coming together here. All right, Demon Flip into the low, keeping the mix going. Ooh, unfortunately, Gets thrown on wake up. Not sure if he was out of range or if it was awkward wake up timing. Wake up timings can be a little bit hard to read in this game. They change depending on character. Uh, and there's the uh, possibility of wake up roll. Oh, there's the DP. Again, that DP is not invincible unless it's EX, but it just came out too fast. It interrupted the overhead. Microwave Mayo on match point. We'll have to see if Jeff can make something happen here. Oh, and there's another DP. Okay, but a DP answers back from Goki here. Yeah, that standing roundhouse from Oro, one of his best moves for sure. But the tricky thing is just getting him into a range to effectively apply it. 
because his moving his movement is so awkward. All right, we oh we're rushing down in the corner. This is pretty good for Jeff. He's just got to watch out for like a big DP. All right, he runs away from the fireball. Decides he's got a whole screen to work with. Baits a DP there, but Mayo doesn't bite. Uh oh, jumps himself into the corner here. But that was Mayo with a defensive throw, switches sides here. I believe Oro's throw awkwardly switches sides. I don't remember exactly how it works. All right, safe there on the Tatsu. Don't think that's punishable unless you parry. And a DP does get him out of the corner, but this is gonna be a pretty tall hill to climb here for Mayo. But maybe he can do it. The anti-air fireball. Blocks the overhead, killer block. I mean, he's turtling so well, but the problem is he doesn't have life lead. Only 15 seconds left. Okay, lands a DP. I mean, my question is just, what's the plan? What's the plan for closing this life lead in seven seconds? I don't know if it's possible. And then he eats an air fireball. Okay, Jeff fights back, takes a round. Once again, Microwave Mayo still on match point here. Jeff has to win this to stay alive. Throwing the fireballs and the air fireballs. Nice anti-air roundhouse. You love to see it. Okay, but a big DP there. Jeff is kind of doing an up forward tactic here, which can leave him vulnerable to DP if he's not going to install some kind of parry when he jumps in. All right, just jumping, throwing fireballs. Wait, did that kill an entire red fireball or did he only do the one hit version? I don't even know. I don't know how that works. All right, dash up low forward. So strong from Akuma. He kind of has that Shoto dash in this game where he can close the gap and catch you slipping when you expect to jump. And there's a huge bait on the DP, but unfortunately too far spaced back to get the close fierce that he needed for a combo there. And now we're kind of down to the wire here. Jeff has a very slight life, life disadvantage, so he's going to need to go on the offensive, but he has a lot of time to work with and a lot of meter as well. Uh-oh, gets hit by the big sweep. Oh, he jumps and gets hit by the fireball. Microwave Mail takes it. Oh my gosh. What an upset. Jeff doing very well in our last few tournaments, although Microwave Mayo as well. I mean, he got second in our last tournament, so I guess I shouldn't write him off. Nicely done. Okay. It's time for the man who sent me to losers. It's Super Chups. I'm still yet to win a set against him. We've played like 10 sets of casuals. Never won one. No, we're playing Fight Cade. All right. Nice, Anthier, damn. That sucks. Oh, baited! I was doing so well. I was doing so well, but then slash, slash, slash. Okay, 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 okay. okay. No! He's got the he's got the reads. He's got the reads this time. Damn, the wake up backdash is pretty good. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. I'm getting wrecked. No. <laughs> Yeah, no, he knew! Yikes. That sucks so much. He's like jumping on wake up. I tried so hard to parry it. How he anti airs me so good, dude. He anti airs me so good. No!
I'm so mad. I parried it. I parried it. I swear to God, I parried it. Okay, well, we got wrecked. GG's. We have a new jam killer. Well, now I, I can I can put my stick back. All right, time to wash the salt out. Time to wash the salt out and pay attention to this match. All right, so Microwave Mayo knocked Super Chups into losers. Yeah, by the way, we had like, what did we have? Like three Chuns, like two or three Akumas, no Yuns. But we had some good characters in this tournament, but look who's in Grand Finals. Q and Alex. That checks out. Sometimes it just goes to show that experience can overcome can overcome top tiers. We had no Kens actually, isn't that weird? We had like three Akumas and no Kens. Alright, so Microwave Mayo, he's turtling up in the corner as is his style. Wow, you're right, he, he's the Mayonnaise color. <laughs> Mayonnaise. <laughs> Mayonnaise colored Q. That's pretty good, dude. <laughs> On that lyrical ish. Mayonnaise colored Q, you push miracle whips. I think so. This is. Ooh, th this is quite a slobber knocker. Ne neither player is able to really get started. I mean, the turtle Q style is working out really well. Okay, oh, Super Chops has him in the corner. The DDT! He lands the DDT! And now he just wants to run away for eight seconds, but watch out. Watch out, one hit of Chip is gonna give him life lead and he's gonna go for it, I guarantee it! Come on. Super Chops. You had to know. It's fine. All right, Microwave Mayo's up around. Oh, and he's got a taunt up. He has extra defense for the rest of the round. Okay, thrown in the corner. What's the mix? Nice, another throw in the corner. What's the mix? Oh, DDT! I've never seen this many DDTs in one match. <laughs> Both players just using their rush punches at each other. But you can see, like, Q is doing so much more damage per hit. That's kind of the problem, because he's got this defense build up. It takes a lot of hits to clear out every little bit of life bar. Oh, we're just whiffing normals to build meter. I like it. I think that's a good plan. Ooh. Decked him. Now all of a sudden, the life lead not looking so secure, but you have him in the corner. Exactly what you need. Now don't get hit by the follow-up super. We saw that last time. The follow you whiff a super and then you immediately do another super. Uh, wow, how is this man alive on the magic pixel? That is the power of Q's defense, but nice anti-air. There we go. I feel like the corner the corner is really making the difference here. Okay, I believe he did get the damage buff, but this raw super is gonna do quite a bit of damage. And he gets the corner, and he's got all three taunts up. Max defense is here for Q. Alex shakes out his shoulder, but I, I think that what buffs the hit the damage of his next combo. So I think that's already Gonzo. Whereas Q's buff is permanent. Nice. I like this use of the meaty universal overhead. Even on block, I believe he's getting plus frames because it's hitting super meaty. Oh my god! Jump fierce! Alright, now you gotta hold this corner for dear life. I feel like the corner is really your savior in this match. Wow, the patient play from Mayo, but here comes the power bomb, and it does very little damage. And there comes the standing fierce, which does very little, and the sweep is doing very little as well. You can see he's just having to land so many hits to even do just the tiniest bit of life. But all of a sudden, he might be getting into the territory where he's got life lead. Just about. Oh no, not anymore! He gets thrown, and all that work. All that work. Okay. You can still do this, though, anti-air. Raw super. That's a little damage. Wow, he goes for the stomp mix. And it whiffs and he gets the throw. Nicely done. Super Chops takes game one. So reminder, this is a three out of five. And since Super Chops is in losers, he has to win two sets of three out of five. Microwave Mayo switching to Oro. Interesting. 
I would have to imagine this will be a lot easier. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and call it that this is going to be way easier for Super Chups to win, but we'll see. I mean, Oro, he's a solid character, but I just feel like the life bar was the number one factor working in Mayo's favor. But who knows? Maybe I'll be proven wrong here. See, like, just look how much that did right off the bat. Like, the turtle strategy can only work if you can actually get life lead. Alright, he's pushed into the corner. Wow, nice anti-air. The anti-airs are definitely on point from Mayo. Elbow pushing him into the corner. <laughs> Hitting him with the fireball. Oh, the, the noogie throw. Oh, no way, unblockable? Oh no, he just goes for a high-low mix-up. Oro can unblockable you there. Wow, nice anti-air. He can do it similar to Yurian. For some reason in this game, you have to block projectiles on the side that the projectile is on. So if you sandwich them with a projectile, you can make unblockables. And Oro can do that, but it's a little tricky to set up. Ooh! Okay, power bomb. EX slap. Man, Super Chups, you might have to stop jumping, man. You're getting anti aired a lot. Anti aired quite a bit. Anti air, okay. And then the super meaty. That hit with like the last active frame. That was sick. Alright, once again, the corner looking like Alex's best friend here. All right, blocks the stomp, but it is safe. It's what, like minus three or something from pretty far? <laughs> the DPs. I feel like the only hits Mayo is actually landing are DP. Woo! I mean, at this point, Super Chups could turtle it out. I mean, what are you afraid of? 20, 20 seconds. <gasps> Uh-oh, now you're cornered. Maybe I spoke too soon. You gotta watch out, because if you get hit by thrown... Oh, there we go. Jayford, you missed it. There were two DDTs in one round, like, a bit ago. Even though that move is banned. Fun fact! <laughs> that move's banned from tournament, the DDT. <laughs> Maybe if I say that, people will start to believe it. Like Oni being banned. Yeah, it's a disqualification, exactly. Whoa, he went for the back fierce hit grab. Oh my god, DP him out of the stomp. But again, you got him in the corner, and he, he, he hops out. Oh my gosh. This is so absurd. Mayo is just down backing. Is this what we came here for? We came here just to watch someone down back for 99 seconds? I'm rooting for Super Chub, screw it! I'm Alex! Alex is working so hard! He's working so hard to get in there. Alright, one more game and he resets the bracket. Alright, he's going with Oro again. Honestly, I feel like Q worked way better, but... He's he's still adapting. And he's got, he's got some rounds. We watched Justin win Third Strike over Turtling. Yes, that's why everyone hated Justin in Third Strike. Because he, he played a, a turtle style. That's why he was the most hated man in America for like 10 years. That and because he won every Marvel tournament. Alright, slowly push him into the corner. Ooh, EX elbow. There's that overhead again. Oh, it meets him air to air. Now this is looking like the Super Chups we know. Punish that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Oro DP is actually really awkward to punish because he goes into a crouching animation when he lands, but that has the benefit where you can do crouch combos. There are certain combos that only work on crouchers, plus you take more damage while crouching. So long story short, it's the kind of thing where you have to lab it out, but once you do, it's actually kind of a downside for the character. But it, people who aren't super experienced with the matchup, it can be very awkward to punish that DP. All right, Microwave Mayo down backing still, even though he's on literally a pixel. There we go, he gets chipped out. <laughs> Weak! <laughs> Alright, one more round to reset this bracket. Nice parry. It's interesting, he's using the fast fireball. 
and not the the awkward Mandarin fireballs. Nice anti-air. There we go. And the overhead. See if he can punish these corner escape attempts. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. He knew he was going to try to jump out of the corner. I guarantee he's going to go for it again, too. Oh, he tries to dash out. Eats a boot. Okay, DDT gets DP'd. That's a lot of letters. Alphabet soup happening right now, comboing into the anti-air. Oh! <laughs> All right, that's a bracket reset. Super Chup's gotta win one more. I mean, they both gotta win one more. So now technically they are both in losers. I do think that Q worked out a little bit better. I just feel like having all that more life to work with made a major difference. So we'll have to see if that works out for him in this final set of Grand Finals. Post bracket reset. Let's go. Ooh, he gets clipped low. So yeah, one of the weaknesses of Q is his high-low mix-up is kind of like fuzzyable. Uh, it's not a true high-low if he's coming at you with uh, the rush punch, but of course you know, most of the people in this tournament have just picked up the game this month, or at least haven't been playing that seriously, so it's a learning experience for all of us. Brilliant parry on the universal overhead, but Raw Super is not going to punish there. But speaking of punishes, Super Chuffs does not get a punish on that block Super. It's, like I said, it's similar to Chun. It's a little bit tricky to punish on block. Manages to get a big anti-air there. See, there we go. Just taking the stand short when you get that parry. Sometimes with a character like Q, that's all you can do, and there he gets hit by the stomp. <laughs> Weak. All right. Okay, he gets the taunt off. He wasn't able to get any taunts last round, which I think uh, contributed a lot to his losing. Now, it seems like uh, Super Chups has really conditioned Mayo to block standing. So let's see if he's able to exploit that, maybe with some sweeps or maybe even the DDT. Let's see. Oop, okay, goes for overhead again. Nice, there's a big sweep. Uh, microwave Mayo looking a little bit more hesitant to anti-air. He had some really good stand strong anti-airs in the first set between these two. Uh, but he's kind of getting opened up by the jumps here. That's a punish, but a little bit too far, unfortunate. And there the raw super doing so much unscaled damage. What? Okay, nice punish, very good stuff. And there's the throw. Only one or two more hits is going to do it. There you go. Caught him standing with the low short ticked into a throw. Brilliant stuff there from Super Chops. He's looking like a different player than what we saw on the winner's side. So he's up 1-0. Microwave Mayo definitely a little bit on the back foot. Oh, getting elbowed into the corner. And now it's going to be really hard to set up those taunts. That's definitely been a big difference maker in this match, is whether Mayo can get the space he needs to taunt and build up Q's defense. But it hasn't looked like he's been able to during this loser's bracket set. In grand finals, that is. Okay, throws him out of the elbow. Okay, catches him jumping. Hey, pow x 2 thank you for the tier 1 sub. Much appreciated. Alright, he hits him out of the stomp. So Mayo, you know, he's got a, a meager life lead now. Something that he can down back on, as he likes to do. By the way, look how great Q's walk back animation is. It's so good. All right, he knocked down in the corner. What's the mix? He went for DDT. <gasps> he hits him with the, the Falcon Punch. I didn't even realize he switched supers. He's on Super Art 2 now. Worked out great as an anti-air in that situation. And you can combo off it too. Ooh, he's getting rushed down. He's not having any room to breathe here. He really wants to taunt, but he just can't as long as he's getting smothered. Okay. I love that low short tick throw. That is so smart. Wow, how did that DDT miss? Who knows? Oh, whip throw. Oh, the elbow. The elbow. Oh, the elbow. Combo off it too because it hit anti-air. That was godlike stuff. All right, in the corner here. Oh, he went for another DDT. Okay. Super Chups. Chill. Chill. <laughs> chill. I know you want to land it, but chill. Oh, my gosh. All right. He's turtling his way into the corner, but unfortunately, you don't have the life lead. 
So I don't know if that strat's gonna work. There's the EX elbow, particles flying off into space. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, there's a taunt. Get that defense buff up, but now you're knocked down. Okay, wake up throw. I have noticed it does seem like Super Chups is a little bit vulnerable to wake up throw. He could clean up his meaty timing a little bit because he's trying to kind of play around parry and play around wake up jump. Ooh, speaking of, slightly missed the meaty there with the stand fierce, but Mayo is stuck in the corner. Very scary. Oh, there's a big stomp. All right, misses the anti-air there. The elbow pressure in the corner is looking pretty good, and there's the throw. Nice parry, but no real punish there. Microwave Mayo again has a life lead, but barely. Oh my gosh, it, <laughs> a little bit of a frame trap there. Oh, we missed the combo though. Uh, <laughs> blocked, <laughs> blocked rush punch into super, caught him pressing a button, and now it's one to one. Okay. Let's see uh, what adaptation Super Chups has in store. By the way, Super Chups had posted in in Discord earlier. After he lost to Mayo in Winner's Side, he actually posted, he said, he doesn't think he should play Alex in this matchup. So now I have to wonder, is he feeling more confident now that he's won some games with Alex against Q? Oh my god, that anti-air was immaculate. There's the low short into throw that's working out so well for him. Keeping the pressure on, not letting Q taunt up. Pushing him into the corner, we got a stun on Q! And a DDT to finish it, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> A DDT! RIP headphone users, I'm sorry for yelling. Okay, the pressure! The pressure! Okay, EX elbow into the corner. Low short tick throw once again. Alright. <laughs> Mayo gets out of the corner. This seems to be Mayo's primary strat. Is to just try to jump out of the corner and then run away. But he's getting chased down by Alex. Oh, wow, I can't believe that hit cross up. That was wild. Yeah, of course, there is a trick you can use when trying to deal with Alex Stomp. If you tap back at the right time, you'll option select. Either you block it on front or you parry it on back. But the raw super from Microwave Mayo. This super choice is really making a big difference. Really making a big difference here. It seems like, you know, Super Chups is used to being able to press buttons safely at certain times. But now Mayo is throwing out the super and interrupting those attempts. But he is in the corner. Nice anti-air. It's kind of starting to look more like winners, you know? It seems like adaptation on both sides has kind of led us back to where we started. With just this walk back turtle strategy from Mayo. There's the command throw, combos off it. Killer combo, and he gets the taunt. Two taunts, he does get swept, but the, the HP buff is big there. Big anti-air. Microwave Mayo playing so well this round. He's about to get super too. He gets anti-aired there. Now this is a scary situation. You don't want to get too aggressive because you might just need a raw super and die. But you got to do something because he's got the life lead and he's got the double defense buff. By the way, Alex is running his command throw super. I also just noticed that. So maybe that is sort of his Hail Mary attempt. He's about to get it in stock, or at least he was. I'm so frightened. Oh, he eats a rush punch. Each oh, he slaps him out the air. You gotta go in, only 18 seconds. And that life bar on Q, it's a lot more than it looks like there. You really gotta do something, okay. I'm wondering if maybe, oh, jump roundhouse. Okay, Mayo's on, he's one game away. I'm very curious to see. Is he going to go to Super Art 2? Yeah, it seemed like he wasn't really using Super Art 1 at all. So you may as well just have more meter. Alright, let's go Super Chops. Oh, he gets decked by the Rush Punch. But he elbows him right back. Oh, big anti-air. All of a sudden, you're not able to get away with these jumps, though. Okay, normal throw. Ooh! Q said, Oom. Okay, throwing him into the corner. Ooh, EX Stomp! Gets him out of the corner, power bomb! Patient down backing from Mayo. It's good to not get too antsy after you get power bomb. Oh, we'll throw him back in the corner. <laughs> My man went for the DDT again. 
You can only go for that so many times. Wow, he tried to anti-air, but he got hit right out of it. Oh! He... Guys, microwave mail is on match point! I'm scared! Super Chuff's trying to find an answer here. Microwave Bay is sitting on a full bar of super. Okay, he gets hit into the corner. You just gotta watch out for that raw super. There it is. Is he gonna combo off it? Yes, he does. And he gets one taunt, two taunts. What a hill to climb now. A super buff Q. Alex with less than 50% HP, but if anyone can do it, it's Super Chuff's. Let's see it. Big anti-air. Big DDT. All right. Keep the mix going. There's an overhead. All right, EX elbow. Just blocked. Oh, he jumps away from the elbow. <gasps> Another one! He got super so fast and closed it out! Microwave Mail wins the tournament! Congratulations! After getting second place last time. Let me just remind the chat. Microwave Mail got second in our Darkstalkers tournament. Some Someone you may know got first. But this time, he came back with a vengeance and went all the way to Grand Finals and took it with Q? I mean, there was some Oro too, but with Q? Let's go, Mayo! Hey! And congrats, you know, to Super Chups as well. He played very well. He played very well with the second place and with the JM Killer. So those those are going to be our titles. So Super Chumps, or uh, uh, Microwave Mayo is the new JM champ. And Super Chups is the new JM killer. So good stuff to both of them.